Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a battery box for your kayak using a 16 quart Plano utility box. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the stock Plano 16 quart utility box I'm going to be using in this project. And I did a review of it in another video and I will put the link in the narrative section of this video. So basically, this is what it looks like. And one of the first things I'm going to need to do so I can put the pad eyes on the top is these four corners on the top, which make this a stackable item. I'm just going to use a utility knife and cut those off. And that's where I'm going to mount the pad eyes. And then when I open it up, I'm going to remove these partitions that are in there and then just go ahead and use this open section inside. This is an exterior view of the box with the modifications I made to it. On each of the four corners I have a pad eye bolted on as well as another one on each center point and then there you can see my trolling motor connector which I'll go into a little bit later and now I'll show you the inside of the lid for these connections this is a view of the interior side of the lid and you can see on the corner here and in the center and on the corner I have my bolts in there as well as the connection for the trolling motor plug I wanted to show a view of the lower section of the box so you could see the electronics more easily than when the battery's in there. Up towards the front of the box or the latch side is my ESC controller with the remote that goes out towards the front. And then right next to it there is my 50 amp circuit breaker. This is the battery I decided to use with this project. I'll post a link for it in the narrative section of this video. It's a 12 volt, 60 amp hour LiPo battery. It comes with its own charger. And on the side here, it has an on off button that operates a USB port. And the center port there is for your charging unit. This is what the battery box looks like with the battery inside and everything connected. And the reason I have it positioned the way it is, is because I wanted to have access to this on-off switch and to the USB port that's down here. This is the trolling motor plug I'm going to be using in this project. This section is for the wiring that goes to the trolling motor. This is the receptacle section. This is the waterproof rubber cap for the receptacle and also these fasteners for attaching it to your surface. Now to start off with, this is the part that's going to go to the wiring for your trolling motor. And it's got a gland nut on this side that you unscrew and then it will tighten around your wiring. And then this section here that you take apart This is where you're going to connect your internal wiring for the trolling motor. And each one has these two set screws that you slide the wiring in and then you tighten down the set screws. And they are numbered. I don't think you can see it on this part, but I'll show you the other part so you don't get them mixed up. And then what I also added is a piece of marine shrink fit tubing over this wiring section just to make sure that it stays insulated. And then this is the receptacle part. And I like this because this is the section that's going to go into the hull and it's very shallow. So you can get it into tighter fit spaces than with the typical trolling motor plug. And again, it's got the same setup for the two set screw type wiring connectors. And again, I use the marine shrink fit on it. And here, you can see you've got your lining up tabs here and they're also numbered one and two so 
The trolling motor plug itself will have one and two on that so you can keep your wiring straight. Now I wanted to show you a little bit how this works quickly. As you can see, you've got your notches here and it lines up with your notches here and you just connect the two together and then you twist this and it locks it in place. It's very simple to do. It's not like the hard pull you need to use with the other trolling motor plugs and then you just twist it again and it comes apart. Okay, this is a close-up view of the trolling motor connection on top of the battery box. And you can see I added some bungee cord onto the top of the box if you want to secure some items. But I really want to show how easy it is to use this trolling motor plug. This is spring-loaded, so you just give it a twist, and it pops right out. And you can see that it lines up. And you just pop it in. Move that and it locks. Very simple and it doesn't take a lot of force like the typical trolling motor plugs. I have the battery box installed in the rear section of the kayak and the trolling motor wiring is connected to it. As you can see in the wiring there's a loop in it and the reason for the extra wiring is because in order for the trolling motor to rotate 90 degrees in either direction for steering I need to have some extra slack in the wiring to perform those maneuvers. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.